During early 1951, the Joint Chiefs of Staff had endorsed the military necessity of an atomic-powered aircraft, clearing the way to continue the program at a higher priority. The A&P program spawned plans for two flight vehicles. Both were to be B-36s modified by Convair. The first was an effort to more fully understand the shielding requirements for an airborne reactor by building a small reactor and flight testing it on board a B-36. The reactor would not provide any power to the aircraft, but both the reactor and its associated radiation levels would be carefully monitored during the series of flights. This would give designers actual flight data to use in determining the characteristics of the operational shielding as well as insights into the various operational factors. The second flight vehicle envisioned by the program would actually use the reactor to provide power for the flights. The B-36 was to provide the basis for the two test vehicles since it was the only existing airframe large enough to carry the expected engine and shield weight. The NTA began its life as a B-36 that had been damaged during the tornado at Carswell Air Force Base on September 1st, 1952. Because the estimated cost to return this aircraft to its standard operational capability was estimated at over $1 million, almost half the cost of a new aircraft, this was deemed uneconomical. In addition, the more severely damaged portions of this aircraft, the nose of the bomber and the crew compartment, were in the areas the NTA envisioned using for major modifications for this project, and this made this aircraft the logical choice, and it was transferred to this project in early 1953. By the start of 1955, the aircraft had received its new forward fuselage. The wiring, tubing, instrument capsule, and the crew compartment cooling systems had been installed. The name Convair Crusader was painted on each side of the forward fuselage during the early portion of the test series. The first flight of the NB-36H was on September 17, 1955, with test pilot A.S. Winchell Jr. at the control. Flying alongside the NB-36H on every flight was a C-97, carrying a platoon of armed Marines ready to parachute and secure the area in the event it crashed. An instrumented B-50D also accompanied the aircraft on most flights to gather data. 47 flights were made up to March 1957, although the ASTR reactor was only critical on 21 of them. The flight program showed that the aircraft normally would pose no threat even if flying low. The principal concerns would be A accidents which cause the release of fission products from the reactors, and B, the dosage from exposure to leakage of radioactivity. It was subsequently decided that the risks caused by radiation under normal circumstances were no greater than the risks that had been incurred during the development of steam and electrical power, the airplane, the automobile, or the rocket. The consequences of an accident, however, could be severe. 